Hello my loves, today I am doing a review and demo of the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. But I just want to say, if you guys ever see me wearing the same outfit in like two videos in a row, it's because I'm really busy with school so if I can I sometimes film two videos in one day and then just upload them like gradually to get them out of the way. So yeah, there's that. But that's not what we're here for. We're here for a review. And I'm also going to show you um, how I feel it's best applied. So don't worry, I'm going to give you my absolute honest opinion, let you know the good good about this foundation, the pros and cons, everything you need to know. Um, but quickly, I'm just going to insert a clip of me applying the foundation um, just to show you how I feel like it's best applied. And then I'll get into the talking about the foundation afterwards, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Okay, so I'm going to start with the cons about this foundation and then we're going to head to the pros and end on a positive note because you should always end on a positive note. <laughs> so yeah, um, in terms of cons, one of the big cons for me was that, let me show you. Can you guess? It doesn't have a pump. I don't know what's wrong with these makeup companies, like why they won't clue in. Everybody loves a foundation with a pump. A, because it's easier to distribute the foundation, and B, because it's less messy. And also, like, just look, I just feel like that's so unsanitary. Just to have it all over the ring like that, and you can't avoid it because there's no pump. And also, what I was going to say was, um, Without a pump, you end up pouring out way, way, way too much foundation. And for $44, we don't have foundation to waste here. We don't. Nope. Not me. Another con is that, unfortunately, it can get a little bit too uh, cakey if you apply too much. So when I first bought the foundation, I had to really play around with it to um, just to see how much my skin would allow me to put on without it looking cakey. So I can get away with about one coat and a half. So for those of you who like to cake it on, you really have to be careful um, with this foundation because if you apply too much, it will appear cakey and we don't want that. Another con for me was that the color selection was kind of weird. So um, there are six levels on this foundation, uh, so what that means is there's like level one through six, and on each level there is a warm, a neutral, and a cool uh, foundation. Um, six is supposed to be the darkest level, but then there were some shades on level five that were darker than the ones on level six, which was a little confusing to me. And also, um, I got Skin IQ'd or Skin ID'd at Sephora. Um, and the shade that she put on me was like way too light. So what I suggest doing is going a level up from what the Sephora um, people recommend and then a level down and just swatching them uh, on the side of your face to see what works uh, best for you. Um, so yeah, it was a little confusing and also I found that I didn't really find a shade that matched my skin tone like on point like perfectly so right now I am using uh, sandalwood which is 6w1 and then I mix it with 5w2 um, which is a level up and yeah I mix it and it gives me my perfect shade I don't have a full-sized uh, bottle of the 5w2 the lighter shade that I mix it with I only have a sample uh, let me show you it kind of holds a lot so and I'll probably just keep going back to Sephora and getting samples because I'm not going to buy another full bottle. <laughs> because, I mean, why would I? I only need a tiny bit to mix it with anyway, so... Yeah. 
Now on to the pros of this foundation because there are plenty of pros. One pro about this foundation that I must admit is that it does cover pretty well. It's a medium to full foundation depending on how many times you um, build it up. So it does cover pretty well and I'm like the type of person that just likes to wear foundation, no concealer. Um, unless it's under my eyes of course, but I don't like to like conceal my dark marks. So I find that when I use this, I really don't have to conceal my dark marks. I just do a coat and a half and then I'm good to go. And I really, really like that. Another pro is that it literally lasts all day, all freaking day. It lasts all day. Let me read the back. Um, it says it's a 15 hour staying power foundation, looks fresh and flawless through heat, humidity, and non-stop activity, won't change color, smudge, or come off on clothes, lightweight and so comfortable you won't believe it's long wear, medium, buildable coverage, won't clog pores, oil controlling, oil free, fragrance free, and all that stuff. Um, I can vouch for them on this one when they say it's a 15 hour wear foundation because I've worn it all day and it didn't move. It didn't move at all. You know those days where you put on makeup and you look really good, you look fly, go out, go about your day, and then you come back inside and all your makeup is gone, and you're like, did I, did I wear a foundation today? Did I, did I put on makeup? What? This foundation is not going to do that to you, so that's what I really, really like. It's really, really long wear, so I feel like it would be really good for like events, parties, weddings, summer, you know, so you don't sweat it off. I think, I think it would be good for summer. Another pro is that I don't really think you would need a setting powder for this because it is um, pretty full coverage already. I think a translucent setting powder would work just fine. Um, if you want to add a powder, go ahead, but I feel like adding a powder on top of a full coverage foundation just makes for a cakey mess at least on my skin anyway so i think the main question here is do i think this foundation is worth the hype and would i repurchase it if i could um i do think this foundation is worth the hype i feel like it's a really great foundation has a lot of good features to it um the only thing i didn't like was the fact that it can get cakey if you apply too much but i mean it happens with every foundation just be light-handed um, so yeah, I think I would repurchase it. Definitely worth the hype. I would give it a 8 out of 10. So if you want to purchase this foundation or, you know, do some more research, then I'm going to link the Sephora website in the description box where you can find it. So yeah, that was my review and demo of the Estee Lauder foundation. If you like honest reviews and want to see more of them from me, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And until next time, beauties. Bye.